Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Asus ROG 6 Pro. Now you can pick this one up online. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price I paid for this one is 1,600 bucks. Now it's available in Storm White. Now if you get the regular Asus ROG 6, that one is available in black. Now I know what y'all getting ready to say. 1,600 bucks. Good Lord, that's a lot of money. But guess what? Good Lord, this is a lot of phone. This is damn near laptop status. Listen to the specs. For the display, you got a 6.78 inch AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2448. That is 395 for the PPI Patrol. The phone is IPX4, water resistant. You got Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, Gorilla Glass 3 on the back with an aluminum frame HDR 10 plus up to 1200 nits brightness and a 165 hertz refresh rate with 720 hertz touch sampling. I repeat, 165 hertz refresh rate. This is a monster. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Generation 1 with the Adreno 730 GPU. Now, what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro. Flagship specs. Now, you got 18 gigs of RAM with 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. Now it's running Android 12 with the Asus ROG custom skin. Now check this out. You got a 6,000 milliamp battery that features 65 watt fast charge. Now Asus claims you can charge your phone from zero to 100% in 42 minutes. For the cameras, on the rear you got a triple setup. So you got a 50 megapixel wide, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a five megapixel macro sensor. Now you can shoot 8K video at 24 frames per second and 4K at 60 frames per second. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot video at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Now you got dual stereo speakers with two amps, okay? You got a headphone jack, okay? You got Bluetooth 5.2, Wi-Fi 6E, NFC, always on display, face unlock, on-screen fingerprint sensor. You got touch capacitive game triggers, you got the vision display on the back, which is my favorite part. And you got an RGB logo. All right, so all of that for 1600 bucks, what's missing? Like I said, it's IPX4 splash resistant. Okay, so not, no IP68 dust and water resistance. No quad HD display, no expandable memory, no wireless charge, and no 4K 60 frames per second from the front facing camera. All right, so let's unbox it and see what it is. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. 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 White Shoes. I love my white shoes. Calm down. Okay, now I bought this from Giztop and they sent also the ROG Aeroactive Cooler. Okay, now this is a gaming phone for heavy gamers. Okay, so you want to keep it cool. We got the aero cooler on deck. First, let's start with the presentation. This is what I like to see, okay? <laughs> they put a little thought into the box, man. Now look, I keep talking about that over and over whenever I do phone videos. Presentation, presentation, presentation. This is what I like to see. Okay, you got Tencent Games, Republic of Gamers, ROG 6. Okay, this, is, this looks like a collector's edition box. Now it is a nice white box. I know I like that, giggity. Now, on a side note, <laughs> I haven't watched not one ROG 6 Pro video. I wanted to experience it myself, so here we go. Now, let's see. Hit okay. Oh, look at this. Now, this looks like some Stormtrooper type shit. Like, it should make a sound like, mm -hmm, transforming. This is kind of dope. All right, this is kind of dope. Let's see. Okay, join the Republic. Now, this is, this is, what, this is what I like to say. Look at this. You got your <laughs> join the Republic for those who dare. I individually numbered. Serial cards, I, I like that. Let me get it and save that, okay? This is gonna be your device. Whew, super heavy, Jesus. Let's see anything else in here. Okay, now this should be, I don't wanna mess this up too much. Okay, SIM ejection tool in the uh, Asus logo. Got your usual books and shit, okay? With a little RGB and you get a case. Now let's see what this case looks like. Okay, nice plastic style case, okay, 
with all your cutouts for your vision display. Ooh, I can't wait to see that in person. All right, let's see what that is. Nothing else in there. Okay. Let's all say it together. Samsung, Apple, Google, pay attention. 65 watt fast charging brick in the box with the Asus logo, attention to detail, I like that. And of course, oh now look at this, USB Type-C to USB Type-C charging cable, but that braided style cable, quality. Okay, so 1600 bucks, they're already delivering with the presentation, I like that. Let's get and file that to the side. Now, here's your actual device. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Asus ROG 6 Pro. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells like gaming. Okay, this might be my new favorite gaming phone, which, like I said, this is just an unboxing video, but I'm gonna do a full comparison and let y'all know which one is my favorite. As of right now, it's the Black Shark 5 Pro. Okay, because of these speakers. I haven't heard any cell phone with better speakers than this yet. Now we're gonna test these right now. I'm not gonna make y'all wait until a full week. We're gonna test them and see which one wins in the speaker department. This one has the RGB logo on the back. Let's see, let's, I want y'all to see this real quick. Look at that RGB logo, okay? RGB logo on the back. This one has the less gaming phone look to it. All right, the least gaming phone look to it. I like that one. Next. We got the Red Magic 7S Pro. Now I gotta show y'all something with this one. This is the one with the RGB fan that actually spins. You hear it? RGB fan, two levels, okay? This is another one, 18 gigs of RAM. This is a monster. And of course, we got the cheapest one that I got, the Redmi K50, okay? This is the gaming edition, AMG version. Has a little RGB lights on the side of these cameras. Okay, now I would say if I had to rank them, one, two, three. But we'll see, because it might be one, two, three, four. Anyway, let's take a look at this one real quick on the back. Triple camera setup, LED flash. This is your vision display. All right, fully customizable vision display. I love it. RGB logo. Okay, let's uh get this right, get that out of there. Okay, on this side, you got your power button, volume up and down. Let's see if we got any juice. I will say this phone is pretty heavy, okay? On this side, you got USB Type-C charging. That's for your, all your accessories, and you could charge it while you're gaming because you don't want to have it plugged in on the bottom while you're gaming with a big cable. So now you can charge it from the side. I did put a little thought into that. You got another, okay, USB Type-C charging slot, headphone jack still alive headphone jack on a flagship phone i love to see it dual fa dual front facing speakers there's your camera <laughs> okay we already got some we already got some unlock activities let's go ahead and see what this is okay let's um delete that okay oh there it is there it is now i'm gonna pause the video let me connect my wi-fi set everything up now you know we got to take a look at this vision display and this rgb logo all right, talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, I just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I gotta be honest with y'all, I am loving this phone. And this is definitely gonna be my new favorite gaming phone. I'm still gonna do a comparison with the speakers on the Black Shark 5 Pro, but even if these speakers sound worse, all right, if they just sound as good or worse, I'm still gonna like this one better because it has a few features that I just fell in love with, starting with the RGB logo on the back. Okay, now I got it set to stay on. Okay, so even when the display is off, I got it set to stay on red. And watch when I hit the power button. It turns white. And do you see the vision display? Do you see that display right there? Let's do that again. Let's turn it off. Now it turns red. Watch the display light up. And that's a customizable display that works for other features and options on the phone, like phone calls and messaging and gaming. This is just so dope. And y'all know me, man. Hashtag RGB life. That's my motto. This phone is so sick. Now, let's talk about the build quality. IPX4 splash resistant. Okay, so you don't want to drop this one in the pool. But if you're outside in the rain, you're good to go. Triple camera setup on the rear. Now let's talk about that for a minute. 
A lot of people are under the misconception that only nerds buy gaming phones. And usually that's because gaming phones tend to look a little bit nerdy. And you know, I can understand that. But you gotta remember, you don't have to be playing Fortnite <laughs> and Minecraft and Call of Duty all day to appreciate a gaming phone. Think about this for a minute. This phone has 512 gigs of storage, 18 gigs of RAM. Okay, so that's a multitasking monster. You got a 165 hertz refresh rate, so the display is beautiful. You got a 6,000 milliamp battery. That means you can rock this phone all day long. Now, the one thing that usually separated gaming phones from the mainstream phones like the Galaxy S22s and the OnePlus 10s and all of that is the camera. But the cameras on these gaming phones have been catching up. This camera's dope. Okay, the Red Magic camera's dope. Last year's ROG 5 camera was good. I think this one might be the best camera on any of the gaming phones yet. Okay, so back to the actual device. I gotta say it, feels so good in the hands, ladies. You know the procedures. And this phone is super heavy. All right, now, if you're looking for the lightest and thinnest Android phone in the market, you definitely don't want this. This is a big, beastly, beastly kind of phone. You know what I'm saying? Manly, rugged. You know, it, this phone is just, this is not a little kid style phone, okay? And this is not a little snowflake, prissy boy kind of phone. This is a man phone right here. Ladies, y'all can enjoy this too, but fellas, this is the kind of phone you want to hold in your hand. I love it, okay? Vision display on the back. Let's see that one more time. Bong. We're going to show you some different customizations. RGB logo. They toned down the whole gaming look. Now, they still did throw some lines in it, but it's not over dramatic. all right? It doesn't look like some crazy little kid phone. Okay, there's a triple camera setup. Now, you got your touch capacitive gaming triggers. Okay, 720 hertz touch sampling. It's ridiculous. Okay, power button, volume up and down, dual speakers, front facing camera, USB type C, SIM tray, another USB type C, headphone jack. Now, a couple of different ways you can open up the device. Even before we do that though, check this out. Always on display, okay? Notifications, time, date, battery percentage, fully customizable. You can swipe up, put in your pad and your pin. Next, you got on-screen fingerprint sensor, which works flawlessly. Now I'm just holding the phone the wrong way. Let's do that again. Okay, now I forgot I got the World Star Hip Hop button set. Okay. Fingerprint sensor works flawlessly. No issues. You see, the thing is, I do got a little callus on my thumb. So sometimes that interferes with my fingerprint sensor. So I had to set it up sideways. But the fingerprint sensor is flawless. And lastly, you got face unlock. You see, I'm not looking at it. Bang, just like that. Let's do that again. Not looking. Bang. One more whilst looking. Bang, just like that. Excellent biometrics. Okay, now, keep in mind, I bought this from Giztop. Okay, so this is the Chinese version, so that's why I paid a little bit more. It's probably gonna be a little bit cheaper if you can get the global ROM or get it directly from ASUS. Now, I spent 1600 on this one. I'm assuming it's probably gonna be around 12 or 13 or whatever, and the Aeroactive cooler did not come with it, okay? Unless you buy it from Giztop, then it did, it did come with it. When you buy it from ASUS, I think you gotta buy that separately, but Giztop threw it in the presentation with you. So, being that it's the Chinese version, you do have some Chinese stuff on here. All right, if you want to catch up in the latest Xi Jinping news, you know what I'm saying? It's right there for you. I know, you know, I got to say that one time. Every time I do a Chinese phone video, I got to shout out my man Xi Jinping one time at least. All right, so no Google when you swipe over, but it's easy. Press one button and you got the Google homepage right there. Now, what does this say? Vivo X Note Review, a worthy Galaxy S22 Ultra competitor. Ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do that next. Right, we got the Vivo X Note right here. Look at this box. And trust me, I've been using this phone for about a month. This is a Galaxy Galactus competitor. But it ain't Galactus, let's keep it a buck. It ain't Galactus, but it's a worthy competitor. All right, for the Xi Jinping boys. All right, so 165 hertz refresh rate. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Now, um, let me just make sure. Yeah, I'll talk, make sure. 165 hertz. Now, I had to double check the spec sheet. Because I was like, wait, did I say that right? 106, I got to get used to saying that. 
165 hertz refresh rate. Now, look, usually when I do my gaming test, I play Asphalt 9, but this weekend when I'm gonna be in Las Vegas, I downloaded Gershon, I, Genshin, was it Genshin Impact? Because this is what all of the nerds play. I right, shout out to all of the nerds, all of my fellow nerds, because I'm down with Team Nerd too. All of my fellow geeks and dweebs, everybody was like, yo, don't test it with Asphalt 9, test it with Genshin Impact. Now, I don't be playing these R, you know, um, what is it? I said, I was going to say RPG. <laughs> Isn't it RPG? Role playing? Yeah, I don't be playing. <laughs> I'm thinking of RGB Rocket Launchers. <laughs> I don't be playing these role-playing games, you know, all that bullshit. But um, I will learn some Genshin. Let me make sure I'm saying it right, because y'all nerds be out. No, it's not Genshin. It's really... Okay, Genshin Impact. I said it right. All right, calm down. Genshin Impact. I'm going to learn how to play it, and I'll do that in the chest. Other than that, okay, fresh out of the box. Now, I'm not going to make this video take forever. Fresh out of the box, silky smooth. Let's go through all of the settings. So you swipe down. Just run an Android 12. So you got your Android 12 looking quick toggles. Okay, everything is on deck. Now, there's a lot of stuff to talk about with this phone, but I'm going to try to do the condensed version. Okay, so for the connections, you got NFC, of course. You got VPNs, private DNS. So this is a scummy phone. Let's see uh, for your scumbag activities. Let's see. Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to themes and wallpapers. Now, for wallpapers, we don't got to go to themes, but I just want to see, want y'all to see some of the wallpapers. Okay, so you got a, a few different ones. All right, very gamey. Now, these are definitely gamey style wallpapers. But if you're not into that gamey stuff, you can rock something like this, Eye of Earth. Okay, that's a little Asus logos right there. But I like to keep it simple. I'm going to use beautiful widgets live. Because even though I like gaming phones, matter of fact, I, I'll, I'll set that one up later. Because I got to set up my beautiful widgets first. Even though I like gaming phones, I'm one of those dudes that I'm not a heavy phone gamer. I'm really getting it for the look. I'm really getting it for this display. But I want a big giant phone with a big battery and ridiculous speakers. And that's what I want. Now, I haven't tested the speakers yet. <laughs> I'm saving that for, the, for, for a few minutes. Matter of fact, we can do that right now. Let's see. Um, all right, let's see. Go to theme. We display in brightness. Okay, now this is max brightness. I believe this one is 1,200 nits. That's a lot of nits. All right, almost maximum nitage. Let's see, you got a uh, smart screen. We'll leave that on. Okay, let's see, different temperatures. All right, so we got optimal, natural, cinematic, standard, and customized. I will leave it on splendid. Matter of fact, this is optimal. Let's see, neutral, cinematic, standard. Okay, I like customized. And we're just, I like my phones to be nice and cool because I'm a cool kind of guy. Why do I have a cool phone? You know what I'm saying? Let's see, you got, um, <laughs> you got always on display. Okay, so let's see. Now, now, Again, this is not Samsung phone, so you're not going to have a thousand always on displays, but you got a few, and they do look kind of gamey. Let's see. This one, this one, this one, and this one. I like that one, but I think this one might be one. Yeah, I like. Matter of fact, I'm going to just go with this one. Uh, let's, go, let's go with some colors. Let's go with that one. Okay. Now, let's see. Um, lift to check phone. Always got to leave that on, so this way you get your face unlocked. Let's see. System colors. Okay, you can change your buttons. Got colorful. Let's see, elegant. Let's elegant. Elegant and kind of dope. Let's leave. I'm an elegant kind of guy too. Let's leave it on elegant. <laughs> no, let me see. Uh, okay, now look at this. Refresh rate. Automatically adjust the refresh rate. But if you got a 6,000 milliamp battery, why not put it on 165? Why not leave all your RGBs? Leave everything on. Okay? You got super fast charging on this. All right, 65 watt fast charging. Might as well leave everything on. Okay, LED indicator. Okay, so light up when charging, flash when notifications arrives. So you do have an LED indicator. A lot of phones need to bring that back. I haven't really been talking about that too much. I got to add that to my list of things that I miss and things that I don't like. Okay, so sound and vibrations. Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on a second. Bro. Bro. Okay, hold up. Nah. Now, nah, we'll have to do we're gonna have to do the sound test. And you got outdoor mode. Okay, outdoor mode, make it even louder. Let's see, you got a complete menu. Might as well leave all that stuff on. Smart ringtones. Do not disturb. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Now you got an audio wizard. Okay, so you got the Dirac audio sound um, engineers behind this. So we got dynamic, music, cinema, and game. And of course, custom EQs. So when I do the battle, I'm gonna leave it on dynamic. But if it starts losing, you know I'm gonna bump everything up. Oh, oh, you can add the treble and the bass? Hold up, why not? Let's add a little, let's, matter of fact, nah. We're gonna, we're gonna start with my, my EQ first, 
and then we'll customize it and see. Okay, leave it like that first, and then we'll play with them and see what it looks like. Okay, let's see anything else Um, we need to see. You got face unlock, fingerprint sensor, you got smart lock and Bluetooth trusted devices. Let's see, battery. Okay, now, 6,000 milliamp battery. Let me just make sure I said that right, too. How, what, how, si yep, 65 watt fast charging. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. Let's see, uh, storage, 512 gigs. Monster. Let's see, smart assist. Okay, so we got system navigation. We don't need to see that. Let's see any gestures. Okay, lift to check phone, motion gestures, flip to mute. Let's see, uh, touch gesture, screenshot. Okay, might as well leave that on. Screen on. Okay, I don't need that. Swipe up to awake. I can leave that on too. Okay, and you got your off-screen music controls, you know, different apps. Let's see, you got double tap for back. I'm going to leave that off. Pocket mode, glove mode. You got screenshot, screen recorder. If you're hearing or visually impaired, you got all your settings on deck. You got your edge tool. This is basically like the uh, Samsung edge panels. All right, so you swipe over, different edge panels. You can customize those if you want. You got OptiFlex, okay? Now, it accelerates app launches, reduces app reloads, saves power on standby. Again, 6,000 milliamp battery, who cares, man? I'm letting everything rock. You got your air triggers, okay? And you got squeeze. This phone does have squeezeology, so I got mine set for flashlight. Let me just make sure, hold on. Oh, no, I got it set for screenshot, okay? I forgot, I changed it to screenshot. Let's, um... I think I want, I think, do I want it on flashlight or screenshot? Which one am I going to do more? Let's see, short squeeze. We'll do short squeeze. Now, you can do it for flashlight. Do not disturb, auto rotate. Let's leave it for flashlight. Okay, let's see how that works. Now, I'm going to squeeze. Flashlight turns on. Squeezeology. I like that. All right, I like that. Okay, let's see anything else. All right, so the ear triggers, customize those for gaming. Let's see anything else about... Look, 18 gigs of RAM, just in case y'all thought I was capping. 18 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage, beast mode. All right, this is a laptop. 165 hertz, 6,000. This is just crazy. This is crazy. All right, anything else we see? That's, that's pretty much it for that. Now, let's see some of this uh, gaming stuff. Okay, so now if you have had any a, a speaker. So we take it over to the armory crate. This is kind of like the gaming suite. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to turn this down. I think these speakers is already... I can feel the bass. Okay, now, look. Let's go to settings real quick. Okay. Now, this is the nerd part of the video. All right, so all y'all nerds, put your pocket protectors in. Put your glasses on. Oh, let me let me put my glasses on. Get, get some nerd shit. All right, fellas. Check this out. You got the system temperature. Okay, CPU, GPU, storage, and memory. Now, you got different modes. You got X mode, dynamic and ultra durable now you do have uh, even more beastly mode that you have to plug the fan in in order for that to work okay so mad different modes i'm gonna leave it on dynamic right now here's your rog vision screen now this is on the back of the phone so you got this when the phone is on okay let's start from the beginning okay when you connect an accessory you're gonna get that screen when you put in an x mode you're gonna get that screen when the screen is on, you got this one. Okay, the R ROG logo. When you charge in your device. Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Let's grab a little cable. Let's see if we got something right here. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try to hold it in. I'm going to try not to get too hype. If this looks dope. <laughs> okay. Okay. The battery. Okay. The actual battery. Hold up. I got it upside down. I want y'all to see that. Now let's see. Um, let's see if we could do it from both angles. So we'll turn this off. Look at that. 40%. With the little charge. Bro, you got your phone on the table like this, man. This just makes you want to look at it. I just want to look at this shit. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Let's keep it moving. Alright, so you got your charging. When you're playing the game, you got the game start. So this is cool for when you're holding the phone, somebody looking at you while you're gaming, they're going to be looking at that secondary display like, who is this guy? And one for incoming calls. Okay, that's the picture of a phone. I'm glad it doesn't show the actual number. So when you got your phone in scumbag mode, you don't want to... Oh, look, look, look at this. All right, so that's how it looks. Let's see if I can swipe this backwards. Let's see. Okay, so this is game start. Okay, pretty sick. This is the battery. 
Y'all just seen that one. This is when the screen is on. Okay, as long as my screen is on, that's what you're gonna see. This is, uh, let's do X mode. <laughs> when you put it in X mode, you get that big X. Okay. An external accessory. All right, so when you plug in your fan or your controller or whatever, you're gonna get that. All right, so fully customizable RGB vision. Now you got your system lighting. I gotta turn this shit down. All right, you got your system lighting. Okay, that's these, uh, <laughs> let's see, um, edit lighting. Okay, so this is your light on the back. Okay, so now I got it to set to static, but you can just play with it if you want, and you can adjust the brightness on it. Okay, let's go. Let's, now that's for music. Let's see the different ones you got. Let's see, advanced system lighting. Okay, so you can have that light on for music, X mode, screen on, and screen off. So screen on, I got it to one color. Screen off, you can set it to a different color. Okay, info lighting, got boot up. External devices, incoming, outgoing calls. You got incoming and in call, not outgoing. <laughs> Same thing. You got uh, games, notification, and charging. All right, so basically, again, 6,000 milliamps, just leave this shit on you. Yeah? Leave this shit on, and you got fast charge. Okay, so your air active cooler, we're going to play with that in a minute. 10 cent accelerator. You got Game Genie. Okay, we'll check that out. Customize your air triggers. Okay. So let's see, you got ultrasonic buttons. You got motions. Okay, and the uh, Aeroactive Cooler does, oh, look at that. You see it lights when you do the squeezeology and the flashlight is turning on and off? That's pretty sick. I might switch that back to um to screenshots. That's when you're on the gram, you're gonna be like this, screenshot of mad buns all day, black, black, black. I like that. All right, let's see. Um, So you got air motions, um, play AR mission. Okay, oh, AR mission? I wonder, do we need the box for that? Let's see, um, enter the city. Let's see, because um, remember the last one had the box? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, fellas. We're going to have to try this one. Or should I do this? Nah, but then again, a lot of y'all ain't going to buy this shit, so why not? Okay, get ready to use your card. Okay, get ready to scan your card. Okay, I'm ready. Now what? Okay, keep the phone. Okay. Okay, continue. All right, let's see. Let's, let's see. This might be some mind-blowing shit right now. Oh, okay, hold up. We got the, a, the AI, hold up, let's see. Oh, look at this, hold up. Oh, this is like, hold up, y'all can't see it? Let me move this shit back. Okay, hold up. Uh, okay, there, look at this, look, okay, there it is. Okay, we got, we got a little AR, AR mission. All right, now look, I'm not going to do the whole thing because I don't want to ruin it for anybody else who's um, getting ready to buy this phone. So let's exit out of this. Hold on, let me, let me, all right, let me, let me save that. Hold on a second, y'all. Let me put this away. Bro, look at that. I just got a notification. And you get the notifications on the back too? Bro, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even know. Oh, look at this. My notifications on the back. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. This is crazy. All right, now I'm going to wrap this up. I didn't even notice that. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of crazy. I'm OD right now, but this is kind of sick. All right, so I put it away because I don't want to ruin that experience for somebody who's getting ready to buy this phone. That's a one-time experience that you want to enjoy during your unboxing experience, and I'm not going to be the one to uh, <laughs> rain on that parade for you. All right, so that's it for all of the settings with that. Now you got different scenario uh, profiles. Let's see now. Let's take it over to Genshin Impact. Now, I'm not going to play it right now. I just want y'all to see the game Genie. Okay, let's get a little wipe down. Now, from any game, you just swipe down, you bring up your game Genie. Okay, so I can change my modes, just like on the Asus Zenfone 9. Okay, so we got X mode. We got dynamic. Ultra durable. And advanced. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on... Um, on dynamic, you got your refresh rate, real-time info, okay, uh, uh, navigation blocking, alerts, do not disturb. You can change your edge tool. You can speed up your um, your gaming experience, AR triggers, AR triggers, air triggers, okay? You got your um, screen record, adjust your macros. You got lock touch, crosshairs, quick, quick controls, all, right? all your CPU, everything on deck. All right, so that's your game genie. You just activate it just like that. Okay. 
Got the temperatures, Wi-Fi connection, everything. And swipe back out. Now, I'm not going to play um, Genshin. I'm not going to play Genshin just yet. Okay, do you want to quit? Yes, let's get up out of here. Okay, so different profiles right there. So that's your armory crate. Now, let's um, let's do, let, matter of fact, now, now, let's check the uh, web browsing speeds real quick. Hold on, let me, all right, I got to set this up. All right, so now let's check the web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, Snapdragon 8 Plus, Generation 1. Just as fast as you would expect. And this phone just feels silky smooth. Okay, look at that scrolling speed. Look how fluid it is. Let's do a little multitasking. Okay, so we can open up Facebook. All right, so I got Facebook in the window just like that. Why are we on Apple? Okay, so let's minimize that. Okay, now we can put it to a little floating ball or get rid of it. All right, so let's try a little multitasking. We'll do split. Let's see, we'll do YouTube on the bottom. Okay, so Apple and YouTube at the same time. This is a beast. All right, so now let's check the speakers and I'm gonna do a quick comparison with the Black Shark 5 Pro. Here we go. Bro, do y'all hear this shit? You can literally feel the bass. Now let's try the different modes. All right, so we got dynamic. Okay. That's music. Oh, cinematic. That one is the one. That's the one. Okay, cinema. And game. I like cinema. This one sounds crazy. All right, hold up. Now let's check the Black Shark 5 Pro. Okay, now this is close. This one sounds crazy too. Hold up, let me be quiet. Okay. Bro, bro, yes! This one has more bass. You could feel the bass in your hand. This is my new favorite phone right here for speakers. Oh my God, I'm impressed. Let's open this up. Let's take a quick look at the display while we're here. Look at that. Look at that and listen to that. Watch when that bass drop. Mmm! Mmm! That's what I'm talking about. And this is exactly what I mean. You don't gotta be some kind of nerdy gamer to enjoy this phone. You're gonna want this display, I right, with that refresh rate, you're gonna want this battery life, and you're gonna want these speakers. All right, now let's try something basic, like, real quick. Now I'm like, okay, this is a family show. This is a family show. I was just about to say I'm not gonna go crazy on Instagram, but I just want to show you. You buy a gaming phone like this, and right, you're enjoying all of the lights and all of the gimmicks, but at the same time, you can still do your regular stuff, go on Instagram, and when you're watching your Instagram videos, you're gonna get that real sound. <laughs> Here's how doing Look at the sound. handstands has made me millions. When it comes to standing on social media. My man Brandon Carter right there. <laughs> Wait till I do the RDA test with this phone. It's going to be a good time. All right, so real quick, let's take it over to the camera. Okay, so let's see the different shooting modes. Matter of fact, real quick, I said real quick twice. There's my new always on display. Let's check the lift to awake. Okay, it works. Let's just, let's just do that one more time. So you got your phone on the table. All you got to do is pick it up and look at it. Bong. And you got that nice opening sound. Now you got your World Star Hip Hop button. Press the bow button twice, right to your camera. Okay? So let's go through the different shooting modes. You got slow motion. You got time lapse. Okay? And you can do that in wide angle. You got video. Now video, 4K, 8K. Okay? 8K, 24 frames per second. Let's do 4K at 60 frames per second. Let's see. How much can we zoom? Okay, you got 4X zoom. Okay, not the most scummiest zoom, but it is what it is. Photos, wide angle, all the way up to eight times zoom. Now, again, when I'm in Vegas, I'll take some nice uh, camera tests. You got portrait mode, panorama, light trail, okay, and more. Okay, so let's see what more is. You got pro mode, night mode, macro, and pro video. 
Again, gaming cameras aren't really known for their um, uh, gaming cameras. Gaming phones aren't really known for their cameras. But last year's ROG, Black Shark 5, Red Magic, okay, even the Redmi, they all stepping their camera games up. Because remember, two years ago, you got a gaming phone, no matter how much RAM it had, how much storage, how much headphone jacks and all these crazy RGB lights and, and high refresh rates. The main thing was when you get outside, you got to put this down when you're ready to take a picture and you got to come out your other pocket with your iPhone. Now with these kind of cameras, you don't got to do that. Uh, you're not going to have to do that. So anyway, like I said, I'm not going to turn this into a full review. Okay. Android 12 widgets. Let's just make sure I got my, let's go to widgets. Okay, YouTube. Okay, we got the turntable. My favorite YouTube widget. Bong, just like that. Okay, let's take a quick look at the ROG Aeroactive Cooler. Okay. You know, get the poking. <laughs> get the poking. Rah. Get it in there nice and deep. You know, like a gentleman. Rah. And let's check this one out. Okay, so let's see what you get. Okay, now it comes with another case. Bro, they know how to do it. They know how to do it with the presentations. Okay, so is anything in note? I was just boxes. You got another case. This looks like, let's see. Is it the same case? Okay, it's very similar case. Let's just drop this one on and see what it looks like with the case on. Okay, get a little color. And this is your Aeroactive cooling fan. Now I'm gonna have to really test this one out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself play that Gershon shit. <laughs> I'm gonna make my, oh, now this actually looks this looks high quality. It does have RGB lights in it too. Okay, USB type C connection. So let's go ahead and connect that. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we got it connected. Look at that. Oh my God, look at the back of this. Look at the back of this shit. Bro, oh my, oh! Oh, this is sick. Let me see now, Um, from one, let me see. I, I think this has a stand or something too. Bro, look at this. Oh, this is sick. And you can feel air coming out. So when you're holding the phone, it's gonna cool your fingers down. Oh, this is sick. Okay, we're gonna update that. All right, we gotta do a quick update. All right, give me a second, let me do this update. All right, so I just finished doing the update. I'm back in the Armory Crate. All right, y'all remember we were checking all the performance levels. Now that we have the Aeroactive Cooler activated, it shows you your cooler temperature, your system temperature. Let's go to more settings. All right, so we got smart, cool, Frosty, I keep the shit frosty. Light controls, bro. Look at this. I right, when it's connected, cooler buttons. Let's see lighting detail. Okay, RGB status. Oh, this is so sick. Let's see. Um, <laughs> default. Let's see. Um, okay, shows you all your temperatures. Okay, music. Screen on. Screen off. Breathing. Okay, now you can change from static breathing strobing. All right, let's see strobing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the light is sick. Look at that. Let me see. Um, let's see. Do we have? Um, let's see. Flash. Let's do um, color cycle. Okay, color cycle. All of these bright, vibrant colors. Look at. It looks like some glass underneath there. Bro, I'm at a loss for words. This is so sick. All right, so we leave it on color cycle. Oh, matter of fact, hold up. Let's see. Um, screen on. Strobing. Max brightness, look how bright that is. I don't even need to put my hands like this. I think y'all can see that. Let's do, um, let's do color cycle. And let's just get an idea of how the colors look. Okay, the whole inside RGB. You can even see the light still underneath. Okay, pretty epic. I'm gonna go ahead and play with all this stuff later. In call, I'm turning everything on bro, you kidding me? Now, <laughs> I can't explain I don't know if y'all hear that. That's just like the fan, all right, on the um, Red Magic. But you feel air coming out. I can see this really being helpful. Oh, look at this. And you got gaming triggers right here. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need to smoke a blunt after this video and calm down because I'm getting a little too hype. All right, let's see. And they got frozen. Let's see. Now frozen. Let's see. Connect charger. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Let's connect the charger because I'm trying to get frozen. <laughs> I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get to the frozen level. Connect the charger. Okay. Now we could take it over to frozen. Oh, you look. Bro, this is like my Brookstone fan. All right, this is frozen. 
All right, so this is for if you really heavy into the Genshin impact, <laughs> right, then you want to put it on Frozen. If I'm playing Mortal Kombat or something, I'll leave it on Frosty. All right, so anyway, so that's your Aero Active Cool. I'm not going to spend too much time. I probably spent about a half an hour already. I'm not going to spend too much time with that. But let's see. Um, anything else we need to see with this? No, not really. Not really. This is pretty epic. Now, let's see. When we want to take it off, how do we take it off without breaking it? <laughs> let's see. We just lift it up. It looks like a button right here. Let's go, Floss. Let's go ahead and break. Let's, let's go ahead and break it right now, first day. Let's see. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. Now, look. There's a button right there in the back. Eject it right off. And you can use it with or without the case. Oh. <laughs> now, look. Again, you don't have to be into gaming to enjoy something like this. You ever been on your line? Uh, on your line. That's old school when you call the phone the line. You ever been on your phone and you're watching videos and multitasking and doing a lot of stuff and your phone starts to heat up? You're downloading shit. Throw this on. Or if you just want to throw it on and look cool. Okay? Because you can throw this. You can actually use this as a dock. As a desktop stand like that. Bong now. Put it on backwards. Oh, look at those lights. I put it on backwards. Okay? Oh, but I'm glad it goes on front and back. So I can just leave it like this. If you want to see my phone screen on the back. But look at this. I could just leave it like this. On the table. Getting those RGB glories. This is 100% going on my desktop setup. Now, I was about to say I'm thinking about selling this phone, but nah, bro. Sorry. <laughs> I'm keeping this one. Let's, let's do that one more time. Let's see. Okay. Now, of course, I put it on upside down. Okay. So, just line up the USB Type-C. Snap it into place. Okay. Let's try that again. Okay. Maybe you want to put it on like that. Get the RGB lights and just leave it on your desk like this. Okay, so let's um let's see now. Does this have a custom home screen? No, this is just gonna be my regular display. Let's see if I can exit out of this. Let's go to uh YouTube. Let's see if I can go to YouTube. Okay, so I can watch YouTube videos with the RGB lights on the back. That's what I'm talking about. This is how I like this. This is how I'm gonna be at work like this, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Okay, I've, I've officially, I've officially climaxed you. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah. Let me check something. Yeah, my nipples is mad hard right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit moist. Let me calm down. Anyway, so let's kind of wrap this up. So far, fresh out of the box. Let's see. Let's try both of these cases. Now, this is the other case it came with. Let's see. Now, this one. Okay, now this one actually covers up way more of the back. So if you're not really into the nerdy look, but you still want to see, oh, and the light came through. Uh, okay, I'm taking this one to Vegas. Anyway, fresh out of the box on a scale of one to 10, I am giving this a certified major, major, major go. This might get quad. I, I got to test out the camera. If the camera's even on a scale of one to 10, like I'm gonna give it an actual number. If the camera's a seven, I'm giving this a quad major because I'm already in love with this phone. I love everything about it. All right, let me hop off Asus nuts real quick. I, I know y'all, all right, bro, calm down, yo, calm down. Damn, no wireless charge, no IP68. Right, calm down, bro. All right, I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, I'm just a sucker for these screens, though, yo. Anyway, ROG <laughs> 6 Pro. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want to see when I do the full review. But like I said, I'm going to put it through the paces. I'm going to test everything out. I'm going to do some real gaming. Take a bunch of pictures and we're going to go crazy. I'm going to test the battery and the battery charging speeds. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream Gangsters on deck. Get the drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, 
say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. Picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Peace. Spock wanna be my. some of that technology, you gotta understand certain things, subscribe to Flossie Carter, he does reviews of all the latest technology, the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck, the Beats by that doctor guy, and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at, you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.